I think watching Mar Martin struggle to get into my car should be like the first. <laughs> should be the first start of the video. Oh. It's not that. It's just these seats are small and I'm too big. <laughs> Remember you used to fit in them? No. Putting on weight, buddy. I'd rather push in the clothes. I know, I still do. Just for safety. In today's video, we're not gonna do anything crazy like the last three videos of us manual swapping this car. We're actually not gonna be working on this car at all, I would say. Probably just little things. Today's gonna be more of a vlog because I did get new wheels for the E30. And I'm super excited to show you guys. But before all that, we need to get food. Some breakfast. Some breakfast and... And we are gonna put the exhaust back on the E30, right? We already have the exhaust on. Interesting. We have so much, we've been doing so much stuff behind the scenes and I apologize for not recording. Um, just because we only want to upload things that are kind of interesting for you guys. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna need a mask. We can't go so anywhere, go sit down. No, we can go to McDonald's. Go drive through. All done. I should do a little pull. Red line to 10,000. <laughs> That's dope That's though. Funny. All right guys, it's time to bring in the E30. From the title of this video, you guys already know what direction this is going. I am going to be putting classic JDM wheels on an E30. I don't know if I'm revealing them in the thumbnail, but I did pick up some work equip O3s, which looks so badass. The whole story behind these wheels is I was trying to find the right style for the E30. I didn't know if I wanted to stick with some R33 wheels and just order some from Japan and go with another big wheel setup, which my MB Battles were 17 by 9. If you guys have seen any of the E30 wheels, you guys already know that I was trying so hard to fit those. And after trying to find R33 wheels, they were going for literally 1500 and it was just too much and I didn't want to wait. I really started to dig the old school classic JDM style with small wheels and bigger tires, kind of like how you guys see on the AE86s. And I found a couple of cars that have that style with the E30 and it looked amazing. So I was like, dude, this is gonna be dope. I'm gonna stick to my JDM heritage and um, heard a lot of purest feelings. We picked those up for 1600, which is really, really cheap. And they're 15 by seven and a half. So they're not that wide, but the offset is plus one, he said. So kind of close to zero. So I just say zero. Look at the size of that lip. I believe it's a three inch lip. So it's pretty huge, either three or three and a half. But Danny, you have another, another set of work equips. But Danny. But Danny, where are these going, dude? The G's getting... <laughs> Stop. They wouldn't even fit the calipers. After we picked up the O3s in LA, we came back very late. And the next morning, I got a message from my buddy that showed me a set of O1s. Two lips were messed up, but they can always be re-lipped. And two were practically new for $700. So that's pretty much the price of one and a half and a five month wait time if you try to order them. These are Stephanie's dream wheels. Like she loves these four spoke wheels. So I hit her up and I said, hey, you down? She was working and I was off. So I was like, dude, I'll go pick them up for you. So we went two hours away all the way to Riverside just to pick them up. And this is how sick they look. This one has a lip bent, but this is the clean condition one and they look super dope. She does want to re-lip them and go with an inch wider lip, which will put it at perfect spec because these are 15 by eight plus 22. With a one inch lip, it'll be plus nine. So 15 by nine plus nine. So that'll be really cool. The only problem with old classic wheels is that they normally come welded, which shouldn't be an issue. All you have to do is cut it and you can put it on a wheel lathe. And my buddy Colin made it really easy for me to understand all of this. So I'm about to start the car and I realized we forgot to tell you that I have the wheels. Yeah. Second pair of TEs on my Yee. IS. <laughs> About time. This thing looks so clean. Finally, a full set. I have to do this every time because I do not want to get a battery until this car is running perfect so I can drive this thing every day. Go ahead and start it. The whole car shaking. Bro, the whole car was vibrating. What's wrong with it? What do you mean? It went into like limp mode or something. It's all like, what the fuck? 
I definitely need to put more tape on that boot. <laughs> I've been so lazy. I just need to buy an intake boot. That's all I need to do. Wouldn't it be nice to own some power tools for once? I mean, we have a toolbox full of nice tools. We have uh, a lot of money invested in our cars. We have a decent amount of subscribers. You would think, you would think we would have power tools. Can't afford it because we don't have enough subscribers. <laughs> so these tires are so bad. I know. Look at that shit, it's so <sighs> dangerous. So I don't even want to drive it. That's the reason I was looking for wheels so quick was because if I wanted a daily thing, I would either have to buy tires for this or buy tires for the new wheels. I have so much camber in the front, so I feel like if I want to stick with that, I'm going to have to use the 15 millimeter spacers I ordered. We'll see how it fits though. I haven't even tried them on. I literally just went on an offset calculator website to see if they were going to fit. That's why I ordered the spacers without even trying them on first, which is probably a bad mistake. I am going to need spacers. For the caliper. Oh, it hits? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. So hold on. I, I, I made the right choice. Look, it's hitting. Oh, damn. Yeah, that'd be perfect, dude. Oh my God. Thank God I ordered those things. They're coming in this week with the tires, but. As I mean, long as we know what they look that like. That would have been perfect. Well, no, I think, I, I think I'll think i be okay with the uh, with 15. I did not expect that whatsoever. Those calipers are tiny, dude. I mean, that's a good thing I ordered the spacers because I mean, I'm, I was gonna need it anyways, but I mean, it was flush. It looked really good like that. Like if I didn't order the spacers and it was able to clear, I probably would have left it like that or dialed them in. They're all loose. <laughs> Bro, they weren't even like, they're hand tight, the calipers. They're I've been literally. driving like this, Martin. You're gonna let me die? Literally, I just, oh my God, that was it. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, there you yeah. go, they fit perfect? Yeah. All right, so we have we have extended bolts for the spacers, but for this one, we're just gonna be able to use the regular ones. I think with the 15, it's gonna be perfect, or maybe even too much. This thing looks fucking cool, dude. This is a rad, it's gonna be a rad build. This just got me way more excited to work on the E30. I think just having it sitting and everything that was going on with the IS just clouds my brain. It just makes me wanna focus on one thing at a time. It's time to give the E30 some love, and I think this is the best way going JDM as hell. Uh, hopefully, no, they'll fit. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna have to wait till they're on the car to dial them in. That's it, dude. That looks rad, what do you think? From a, from a non-super JDM perspective of um, cars. It falls into JDM. <laughs> you are into JDM, which is not as much as I am. Like the- it falls into stance JDM, this, this will be it. I feel like it fits the era of the car. It's old. It's classic, and it's but it's manual. not Euro. It's a manual, so it makes it better. But what the, what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. I don't want to just try them on and then do another video of putting them on. I'd rather show it all right now because it's gonna look sick. So fast forward to Friday or whenever we put the tires on. Oof. They're all here. It's, it's finally the day after. <laughs> it was actually a full week. It was a week, bro. Damn. All right, guys, we're back to install the wheels with the new tires. I was supposed to do it on Friday, but one of the tires didn't come in, so I had to hold it a full week all the way to Sunday again. The tires I put on these things are 185.50. That's a really rare size. I think only Achilles makes it, and I had to order it online. And I was just trying to find something in between Stephanie's old thick tires and her really skinny new tires, which are 175s. All right. Ooh, they fit perfect. Okay. <laughs> so close, bro. Oh my god. I think it's gonna hit. I'm scared. Now, nah, once it compresses, it's gonna have more camber. We also have a couple of extended lugs. I think I only have enough for the front, too. Moment of truth. I didn't even drop that much. <laughs> didn't drop at all. Hold on, there's something wrong here. <laughs> What's wrong here? So stiff. Dude, that's so close to sticking out, bro. Holy shit. How do, how do people know? How do people run this wide? I can clear it right now if I don't go any lower. It looks cool like this. Like, I don't even have to lower it. It actually looks pretty cool. I might have to just bang out the fenders. And I'm planning on getting new fenders anyways. So I could just try to mess with them and see what I can do, but I think I, I like it just like that. Also, given the fact that I have E46 control arms, they do push out the whole wheel out, probably like 15 millimeters, and we noticed. Um, we did a video on that. And I think that's why I'm running into so many feminine issues, just because it pushes it out and it does add camber, so it kind of like 
doesn't necessarily cancel each other out. Before we show you guys what my new wheels look like on the Miata, I'm actually gonna wait until we put our new lip on because someone Martin broke my bag. lip when they were driving it. But it's okay. <laughs> All right. So the story behind that: we went to go smog the car, trying to surprise Stephanie. I was tired of driving because no one wanted to do a dyno smog because the car was so low. I told Martin just fucking drive the car. Apparently, this guy doesn't know what angle is, and he broke the lip. Nah, listen. <laughs> anyways, you. anyways. You have seen me drive the car. My knees are on the steering wheel. We have a new <laughs> lift to install. So I just That's need it. to paint it with the spray can and then and go full on type. put it on and then we'll show you guys the wheels. Before we try on the new wheels, I know it's going to be a lot higher since we test fitted them last time. So I am going to be removing the last perch or collar from the spring. So we're able to um, go hella low, huh, Baldhead Morin? Yeah. Moment of truth, the car has all the wheels on. Everything's pretty much set up. We did lower both sides maxed out on the rear. And this is how it looks. This is crazy. It definitely changes the overall look of the car. I think the only part of the fender that's gonna rub is the front, but I think just because it's so stiff, I don't think I'll have any issues with it right now. But you can see the sign on this side though too, look at What do you think? Once we put the blast pipes that I've had for over a year, I think it should be that long. I think that'll be fucking sick, dude. The car is super dusty, so I wanna wash it down. The interior hasn't been vacuumed in probably like six months. So I'm gonna clean everything up. I still need to install an O2 sensor from the stock exhaust that I put on. Once everything's done and washed and Stephanie's Miata has a new lip, I'll reveal to you guys how the car looks with the new work equips and show you guys both of our cars all cleaned up. We didn't get a chance to paint my lip today or even put it on. So we're just going to show you guys what the wheels look like just like this. These are the work equip O1s on the Miata. We still need to put on the rear, but it's just because we need to rebuild the lips. And she actually wants to rebuild these to make them as deep as mine. The I'm really stoked. Like, I really like how they look. Like, you either love or hate them, I think, just because of the design. It's literally just a cross. And I used to hate them, but... I used to love them, and now I switched. I used to hate them when I first saw them, but they grew on to me over time. And, like, I knew I wanted them, so... Woo! The E30 finally is washed. So this is how the car looks with the wheels, the front wheels at least dialed in. The rear still needs to be pushed out with the spacer on this side. So this is pretty much how the Finman's gonna look. And it looks really, really good. Like it really complements the overall look of the car. Definitely has that old classic JDM look. And I can't wait to start doing more things to it. I know it's been a really long time since I have, but better late than never. And check out my buddy's S14. That thing is so sick. Okay guys, this video might be or might not be excessively long just because it's two days and one. So we tried to get everything all buttoned up on the A30 when it comes to the wheels today. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's dope? Do you guys hate it because it's all JDM now with the Bride, the Vertex, and the work equips? I love it. I think it's definitely different and I've been seeing a lot of E30s have this style and I grew to it and it was and it's pretty crazy because I was going to go with 17s and now I'm with really small 15s. So I'm excited for what's to come and I hope you guys are. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys in the next one.